This is the mini bass from Valiant Guitars. And don't let its small size fool you because the tones inside of it are absolutely monstrous. And not only that, but the feel, playability, and overall build quality are absolutely top notch. So let's talk about Valiant Guitars. These guys have been on my radar for a few years now and their guitars are absolutely gorgeous from not only the body styles, the pickup configurations, as well as just the colors and wood tops too. They make everything in house and the quality itself has always looked absolutely impeccable. They are actually based in Kyiv, Ukraine, but because of certain events that have happened there recently, they've had to completely pick up shop and move them, their families, everything they have to a completely new place now and they have not stopped building beautiful guitars and basses since then and that is just incredible to me that they're able to make such masterful instruments no matter the circumstances that are thrown at them so when they contacted me asking if i wanted to look at one of their basses and possibly make a video i couldn't say yes fast enough not only because i've really wanted to try them recently but I of course wanted to support them as well. So while this isn't a sponsored video per se, they have sent me this mini bass to go ahead and make a video and just check it out. But of course, as always, that has absolutely no effect on what I think, what I say, any of the sounds of this video or anything like that. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So jumping right in, the mini bass itself is a 27 inch short scale bass that is an absolute blast to play. I personally love playing short scales already as it is, but this one is something completely different. It's so small and so compact, but the playability and the feel and the sounds are all like as if it was a regular bass. It's just so comfortable and so quick too. You have a sort of traditional jazz bass style body that's made out of alder and has this beautiful finish on it called burlesque black. From what I can tell, it's a black finish that has something on top of it that really makes it shine and sparkle in the light and it's just so cool and so unique to see. You have Valiant's own Duraluminum bridge with brass saddles and essentially what Duraluminum is is a strong, hard, lightweight alloy of aluminum that's usually used in aircraft construction, which is awesome awesome to me that not only do they make these themselves, but it's made out of the same stuff that they make aircrafts with. Not only does it look super cool, but it works flawlessly too. Then for the pickups, you have Valiant's own B system single coils, which I absolutely love these pickups. They have such a nice, bright and full tone to them. But of course you're able to roll off that tone and really get that nice laid back jazz sound if you want to. Then for the controls, you have three Dura aluminum knobs with wooden tops. And essentially what you have is volume, pickup blend and tone and that's it. Then moving up, you have a hard rock maple neck with a maple fretboard loaded with 22 jumbo nickel silver frets with these really rad Trinity inlays too. Not only does this neck feel super solid, but so slick and easy to use too. And then finally going up to the headstock, you have this really awesome adjustable brass nut, which I've completely fallen in love with. And this is something I would love to see on basically all of my bases one day and Valiant's own tuners too. So 
So after my few weeks with this base, I can honestly say that overall, the name of the game with this base is quality, quality, and quality. The craftsmanship, the feel, playability, sound, everything under the sun comes together in such an almost flawless base overall. For the pros on this base, I honestly have to say um, everything. It all just works so well together. Every component on this base, and especially considering the fact that they build all of their own components too, which is just like wild to me. Pretty much everything on this base is them and theirs, and that is so awesome to me. And then for the negatives, me personally, I can't find anything on this base. I'm sure there's a few subjective things that some people would like, but again, quality is absolutely the name of the game when it comes to this base. And so overall, I have to say, I love this base and it's absolutely killer. I find not only does the story and the crew behind the company really inspire me, but this base does too. Something where I put it in my hands and I instantly want to start riffing on it or going crazy on it or just going hanging back with a completely different tone too. There's so many different tones and so many different ways to play this bass that make it super suitable for an insanely different amount of genres. Not only that, but the amount of pure craftsmanship and quality you get with this bass for only $1,500 too is just mind blowing to me. But of course, let me know what you guys think about Valiant and their mini base, and let me know in the comments below what bases you would like to see me look at next too. Thank y'all so much for watching as always, and of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters right over here. Mwah, mwah. If you wanna be like one of these gorgeous people and help support the channel every single month, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank you again so much for watching as always, for watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing my videos, follow me on social media, all that crazy and weird stuff, and I truly do appreciate it. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, replace the strings on your bass, I know you need to, and I'll see y'all next time.